Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Polcino, and this is another Dr. P Minute. Do you experience heavy menses? Do you experience painful menses, pain with intercourse, um, or lots of pelvic pressure? Then you may suffer from a condition called adenomyosis. We really don't speak much about adenomyosis, but today you're going to learn. During a woman's reproductive life, the ovaries make estrogen and progesterone monthly, and it stimulates the lining of the womb to grow. This is called the endometrial glands, endometrial tissue, and this is where a pregnancy would implant. If there's no pregnancy, after about a month, the hormones decrease and a woman has menses and the tissue is gone. Now, this tissue, the endometrial tissue, is supposed to grow inside the womb. If it grows outside of the womb and it grows on the tubes or the peritoneal cavity, then it is called endometriosis. And we always hear about endometriosis. But if it grows into the womb, if it invades the uterine muscle, then it's called adenomyosis. Now, what causes adenomyosis? We don't really know, but we think there may be some embryonic tissue in the uterus that responds to the hormones or it may come from some manipulation of the uterine lining and disrupting it, allowing for these glands to invade. This would be, say, a DNC, a pregnancy infection, but we really don't know. Is it common? Well, before we didn't think it was very common. We thought it was only in women who were 40 to 50 because it was diagnosed at the time of the hysterectomy for any reason. The pathologist would examine the tissue and see glands in the uterus where it wasn't supposed to be. Today we know differently. Because sonograms are so effective, we're able to see in adenomyosis, and um, we now know that the percentage may be 60% of all women. Only a small percent will have the symptoms, but it really is ubiquitous. Does it cause cancer? It doesn't seem to have any relationship. Does it cause infertility? It may, but we still uh, think that it would be a very small cause. How do you treat it? Anything that would decrease the hormonal stimulation of the glands can be used. Birth control pills are the most effective and most common, but there are medi uh, more sophisticated medicines like Lupron that also can be used. We also think that a medicated IUD may also help. Lastly, if there is no relief, then ultimately a hysterectomy may be needed, but that's really real. So, if you have these symptoms, please contact your healthcare provider because you may be suffering from adenomyosis. This has been another Dr. P Minute. Hope to see you soon.